we want to find out which of the following molecules have dipole-dipole forces. Now, if you remember, that means we need to look at their electronegativity and we need to see if they are polar or not polar. Now, if you don't remember exactly what polar is, please make sure you do review that before we get started with intermolecular forces. So if I look at A, I've got Cl4, which just means that I have four Cl's. Well, when I look at that, I know that Cl can sometimes have the expanded octet as well, and so this right here I have to know, so is it polar or is it not polar? Well, they're all in a straight line, no matter how I line them up, I'm still going to have all the Cl, so I know that this is not a polar molecule. So if it's not polar, then it can't have a dipole-dipole force. Now, what about this next one, CH3Cl? Well, I want to draw the structure first. So I'm going to have CH3Cl. Remember, I draw the structure. Remember, carbon has four bonds. So I have three of those are hydrogens, and one is chlorine. Now, what do I know about this? Well, when I look at this, I know that Cl is really, really electronegative, right? And then I've got the hydrogens. These are all balanced, so this one is different. So sometimes, if you, maybe in your previous class, you'd kind of look that this one is a little bit greater over here. If that's the case, then we know that this is a polar molecule. And if it's polar, what does that mean? Well, that means then that it is a dipole-dipole. So this one is a big yes. So I've got this last one. I've got HCl. Now, what do you know about HCl? Well, it's H bonded to Cl, correct? And I'll, again, I know that Cl here has a high electronegativity. Remember, fluorine is the most electronegative. So if it's got a high electronegativity, again, we know that this is a polar molecule. And if it's polar, then it has dipole-dipole forces.